Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about some very interesting leaks concerning the RX 8000 series. And this is actually very tangible because it's, it is actually courtesy of Geekbench. And we actually have multiple entries here in Geekbench for the GFX 1201. This is, by the way, the architectural identifier for RDNA 4. RDNA 3 is GFX 11. And you can work backwards from there. Now... It is worth noting that at this point, these are certainly not exactly final production samples. We do not know if this is a qualification, it could be an engineering sample, or it could just be that they are testing something and they're kind of playing around with the BIOS and so on and so on. So there is certainly something very hinky about these results, and you'll see why in a moment when we start to get into the performance figures. Now, the source um, is actually via... Geekbench, as I just mentioned, that's where the leaks actually emerged. However, I want to give credit to Bench Leaks, which is an account on Twitter, which basically kind of, uh, as far as I understand, it's basically a bot that posts these things, and that's why I found them, because I follow them. But anyway, let's get into the information, shall we? So it does state that there are only 28 compute units. However, this is basically Geekbench getting a bit confused, bless it, and actually this is in reference to the number of workgroup processors. So one workgroup processor equals um, to compute units, so we are actually looking at 56 compute units here. Um, the highest end configuration of N48 is rumored to sport 64 compute units, so this is not the full configuration. Again, that could be simply because this is like uh, an engineering sample, maybe they are testing a lower end variant, and so on and so on. However, the real, well, there's actually two real kickers. The first is that the clock frequency of the GPU is just 2100 megahertz. Well, 2101 to be precise, that extra one megahertz is gonna make a profound impact, just so that you're aware. Um, but yeah, being serious for a moment, this is of course really low. It is far lower than RDNA 2 can achieve in terms of maximum boost clock, much lower than RDNA 3. For reference, I've heard low 3000 megahertz is the boost frequency target of RDNA 4, but obviously those could be missed or what have you. But even if you say that, uh, you know, they, they miss them by like 300, 400, 500 megahertz, this is still ridiculously low. But the real weird thing is the actual performance figures. Now, it is possible that these results are faked, and it is certainly not impossible to fake results in Geekbench or any benchmark for that matter. Um, but if we were to look at, uh, well, again, there are several entries here, but um, roughly speaking, they're all scoring, apart from one, they're all scoring in the low 30,000 range, so 31,000 to 33,000. Now, to put this into any level of context whatsoever, a 7900 XTX, which of course is the highest end flagship in the RDNA 3 lineup for desktop, that's going to be scoring somewhere around 200,000 low end, so like 200,000, 211,000, something like that. And a 7800 XT is going to be probably around 140, 150,000, depending on the variant, what you're kind of doing, that type of stuff. But yeah, basically, obviously, if you've overclocked, it's probably going to be a bit faster. So again, there is something really hinky with the performance results. It is very possible that it's something on the BIOS. It is something to do with maybe the GPU just wasn't hitting the clock frequency at certain points. Maybe the software is just being absolutely absolutely bizarre, whatever it is. Again, and that is assuming that these results are legitimate. The amount of memory is being listed as 16 gigabytes, which is right on the money. The rumor is that we're looking at a 256-bit bus, um, and again, 16 gigabytes of memory split across that bus using GDDR6. Now, the rumor is basically, um, and I covered this a while back, that board partners are now essentially focusing on getting ready for RDNA 4. So these are all the new GPUs. Now this makes sense because if you think about it logically, RDNA 3 has not been exactly selling like hotcakes. There are still quite a few variants that are still sitting on shelves. Um, and I 
can't remember when I initially posted this. It was before the deals were actually live, but I leaked that AMD were going to start doing uh, game deals for N32 GPUs, and of course that did happen. So I think that it's quite likely that they still have an excess of inventory for these GPUs. Now, again, the rumor is that there are only low to mid range GPUs. So they're going to be roughly on par with something like an RTX 4070 to a 4080. Um, depending on the rumor and whether we're talking ray tracing performance, whether you believe the more, <laughs> let's, let, let's say optimistic performance levels or whether you're, you know, not so optimistic. Now, I'm still hearing that CES is the release date, and you could also make a really good argument that since these performance figures are so low for Geekbench, we may be kind of early in the production phase. But again, it's very difficult to know because for all we know, this is like either completely fake or B, um, this is like a really old board. It could have been dated, let's just hypothetically say three months ago, and they were testing something to see how it compares against like a modern, um, you know, sample. And they were like, oh crap, this is one we actually forgot to unplug, you know, from the Ethernet or something. Believe me, that can happen. I will be very interested to see how these things actually end up. I think, again, it's all going to be pricing. I have a larger um, RDNA 4 video that I was going to release, but it's probably going to have to wait a bit. This is actually one of the reasons I'm not on camera and there's been no content over the past couple of days because I've just been getting absolutely ravished by like some type of stomach bug. Uh, pro tip, don't get one of those. <laughs> it's like, it's not fun, actually. <laughs> come it's like i know that might surprise you but it's really not enjoyable um so just pro tip don't get sick who would have thought it's uh it's a it's a it's an award-winning strategy that is completely foolproof just don't get sick and you'll be fine um but anyway guys i think that's just about it for this particular video take care of yourselves bye for now